India is an interesting case. It's a democracy, but its leader, Narendra Modi, is no Democrat. Inciting violence against Muslims was an important factor in this meteoric rise. Modi maintains close relations with both open and closed societies. India is a mem member of the Quad, which also includes Australia, the US. I would put it away. But he is old, rich, opinionated, and dangerous. You know, because what happens is when such people and such views and such organizations, they actually invest resources in shaping narratives. You know, I, I spoke about globalization. Now, what globalization does is it actually creates a lot of uh, the seamlessness of globalization, which creates all the opportunities, also allows, you know, narratives to be shaped, money to come in, uh, you know, uh, foundations uh, to go about their, their agenda. Now, in this particular case, I mean, it is very clear that he has very strong political preferences. He actually thinks that, I mean, doesn't matter that this is a country of 1.4 billion people, we are almost there, uh, uh, who, whose voters decide how the country should run. He actually thinks, well, if, you know, uh, and, and again, I cite him as an extreme example, okay? Uh, but it's, it's, there are other, uh, you know, manifestations of this in, in different countries where people like him think uh, an election is good if the person we want to see wins. If the election throws up a different uh, uh, outcome, then we actually will say,